Well, good day, farmers. Welcome back to Farm Sim Saturday. Looks like we just started our next growth spurt thingy there, growth phase. Uh, we're just heading over to the sheep farm right now. I do believe there's a skid of wool that we need to get out. And uh, stack it next to the other one. Let's see how the tractor goes over this homemade bridge here. A little weird, but it does go over. So today we're going to do, um, oh good, spinnery for wool. I don't have enough to bother taking right now though, but actually how much is the price for that? Seeing as, whoop, seeing as it just came in now. Um, oh wow, that's worth a lot of money. That might not be a bad idea to take that in. <laughs> but uh, anyways. 18,000. Boy, you know what? I've got two of those. I might as well take it. Uh, thing is, I don't have another trailer over here to put it in. <laughs> so we're going to have to load it on the forks and drive each one over. I only have two skids, so it's not too bad. But for 18,000, oh, that's worth taking, I think. So we'll take some. But anyways, yeah, uh, today we've got um, some soybean in and some corn in for corns for the pigs because uh, they require a bit of corn. So we'll save probably most of the corn in our silo. That should be enough for a while. We're, we're going to buy uh, 10 pigs today and get them over to the pen. Okay, don't open for me. That's fine. <laughs> Actually, I think I want to grab it this way. Oop, crashed. Try to get her pretty much centered there. Oop. Down a hair. Hopefully this tractor will carry this over there. It should be all right. Oh, sure. Now it closes. Oh, I guess we're going to pull this in. All right. I don't want to go up too high with this, but I don't, also don't want it to fall off. Um, but we should be all right there. She might be a little tippy like that, but I just don't have a trailer over here. It's way over at the other farm now, so... <laughs> We only, oh crap, we only have to go uh, not too far, so. So I still got to get the uh, crops grown, as you know over there. Um, kind of anxious and curious to see if it's going to be all right when we take uh, took those trees out uh, last week, early, early through the week. We did a little special video there for you, if you saw that. We did some tree work there in that one field, and uh, I think it's the trees, hopefully, uh, that my guys are having problems with trying to go by, and they kept turning around and stuff. Hopefully it was the trees. So we got them all cut, of course, and sold, and I don't know if I uh, showed you how much we actually made from that, but uh, we did not too bad. We got uh, 55000 almost 56000 for that row of trees, so there is money in trees, but it's just a little bit of work. It'll work for, you know, pretty good money. Alright, we're almost here with the first skid, and then we'll run back and grab the second skid. Should give us 18,000, whatever that was, right about now. Oh, I hope. Oh, there she goes. Alright. 32,000. Oh, wow, it's 18,000 a, a bundle? Ooh, wow! Yeah, I'm going for the other one. Holy. That's pretty good money. I thought it was 18000 for the whole skid, but no, no, it's 18000 for a bundle, so 18000 times 4. Wow. Wow. Wow, I'm going to say it again. Wow, that's good money. <laughs> so we whip over and grab the other one. That's definitely going to be worth it now. 
Boy, to think I was kind of hemming and hawing about uh, bringing it over. Hmm. Oh, you know what I should have done? Never even thought of it. Should have copied and pasted this bridge in the editor. That might have been too big for there, but... That's a good working bridge, but our little homemade wood bridge worked pretty good. Alright. I didn't actually look before to see uh, what the normal price was for wool, but holy cow. That's a high demand price right now. I don't mind that. Look out! So that's good, because that'll pay for... Oh boy. Pretty much get our pigs for free, I think, now, which is nice. All right. We'll head her over to this one. Make another 34 grand. It's like $68,000 for two skids of it. Holy. Wish I had more stocked up. Wish I had more sheep. But, anyways, it's all right. Oh, I took out the mailbox. Oh, darn. Whoa. <laughs> She's a little wobbly. That's much weight on the, on the loader. That'll buy our pigs. That's fantastic. Look at the money flying. Holy, I wish I had more. <laughs> oh well. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. What I want now is my truck. And we're just going to speed up the time again so we can get our crops going. And I do believe... thought my livestock trailer was in here. Where'd I put it now then? Ah, interesting. Is it over at the livestock place? We better look. Oop, better map here because now I don't know. Thought it was in that yard there, but uh, the livestock trailer is Oh, it's way over at the sheep. Okay. So, well now we got to go back over to the sheep. <laughs> I guess that's about right. That's probably where I used it last to pick up the sheep. Oh, man. Going too fast. So everything's coming along good there. Looks like the corn's kind of different growth waves right there right now. So I'll have to wait till that catches up, and of course that's the new spot there that we uh, cut out, if you remember. Cut that out uh, a little wider to the fence. So hopefully it works alright with the fence there. And uh, it doesn't have a problem. Alright, get over here and grab that trailer. Headlights aren't tremendously good on this uh, this truck. Dark like this is a little more difficult to see, but better than no lights. <laughs> okay, where did we park that thing? It's not there. It's not there. It might be over here. There it is. 
probably looked right at it too, you know, when I was over here. Alright, let's go look at some pigs. Although I might just pause and let the day come, because it is pretty dark. Won't be too long, but uh, maybe we'll just wait here a moment. Wait for the day to come. We'll be right back. Alright, she's getting almost bright. So let's get at her. 6 a.m. I think stuff probably will be ready to go now. I'm thinking, I'm hoping. And uh, we'll get them started maybe as we go past. I'd like to see uh, for sure if we have any more issues with that one side of the field and the higher help working. I don't think we're gonna, but. Uh, never know, right? Works nice. Oh, a couple little snags are though. Ooh, we are all set. I think. Well, the corn isn't quite ready. Not quite ready on the corn side. Some of it is, but um, we'll go buy our. Sh oh, never mind. We're ready. <laughs> As I say, it changes. All right. Well, let's get this guy unfolded here and get him started. Anyways, I will right, see what's gonna happen. Uh, Very curious to see what is going to happen here. Because as you know, we had a lot of problem. It doesn't look like it's a very straight field, though, by the looks of things. So, give them a little overlap. There. Okay, so we got down, ooh, not even a quarter of the way, and he was having problems. So, here we go. Let's see what's going to happen here. Has we, have we fixed it? I think, I think we're good. We definitely had problems by now. Oh yeah, we're good. So all it was was the trees. Wow, that's just silly, eh? Alright, we'll get this guy going over here. And, well, this guy's still up here admiring the farm, which is nice. We'll get uh, the other feller, except he's way over here. Get him going on the other field. And then we'll go get our pigs. Alright, we'll get this feller started over here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right. Uh, yeah, we don't get straw out of that. That's okay. We don't need straw right now. We are going to soon need some more grass, though. But we should be all right for a few minutes. Um, yeah, I think we're okay for now. Okay, everything looks good except the uh, corn. So, but anyways. <clears throat> He's working on that very rapidly, and looks like he got down there absolutely no problem. So that makes me happy. It's definitely a lot more open here now. We definitely need some kind of fencing, I think. So we'll have to uh, add some of that maybe in the uh, editor or something. But for now, oh, go down here and get some pigs, but we need another bridge. copy and paste that bridge over here maybe too that'd be maybe not a bad thing so all right we're gonna get 10 pigs um, just so oh, I can only get nine in there oh man I can only get nine in there I'm going to come back and get one more because I want to put uh, 10 pigs in there and we'll see how fast they uh, uh, repopulate. Okay, we have pigs. Do 
we have pigs. Hello, whoa, pig butt. <laughs> uh. Uh. Hello, pig. <laughs> All right. Let's head her out. We'll head these guys back, and I'll we'll come back and get uh, the one more guy. <clears throat> yeah, we need a little bridge there of some sort. Oh, buddy's almost full there. We're going to have to get a trailer for him. Oh, these two guys might actually collide here, too. Uh, I'm going to go down one more. One more road. Oh, it technically really isn't a road here, but we'll make one. I just want to stop down here and pause for a moment before we dump these guys out and get a little bit of a uh, thumbnail screenshot. So give me one sec, I'll see if I can get that. Okay, that was quite a way to get a screenshot, but we, we got a screenshot anyways. Um, okay, now where... I imagine I have to dump these guys out here. seem to work. Um, that's slurry, so it won't be here. Definitely know that's slurry. It might be maybe here. Alright, I think we were right at that other uh, cross there. Uh, that one I think is for putting straw in. Straw? I to totally forget now. Straw, yeah. I think that's the straw spot, the little housey thing. So, that's straw, this is water. And then food, and then the other square, I believe, is to drop them off. I think there's something we gotta do in the little, uh, this guy here. Open animal dialogue, there we go. Unload! All right, we should have pigs in our pen. Or not. Um, <laughs> okay. We, uh, don't seem to have pigs. Well, that's kind of weird. Are they seriously still in my trip? They are in my trailer. Okay, let's try this again here. R. Unload. Confirm. That's why. I keep forgetting that. Now we got pigs. There we go. Okay, so we're going to run back and grab one more. In a moment, though, we have to unload our uh, combines here trailer, which I haven't even got hooked up yet. So, uh, no, I want to use uh, the big guy here. Where is he? Right here. Somewhere there. Ooh, look at that. That's neat. Okay, um, trailers. Trailers. Might be back here. I'm not sure. There they are. All right, get our trailers. We should be all hooked. Okay, we are. Uh, okay, so that guy needs us first. Although he won't take quite as long, so I think what I'm going to do is in front of this guy here and grab the other guy first because he is full because uh, that corn won't take too much longer to get off I don't believe uh, darn it I gotta I hope this guy go in this way
Because that header's too big, really, for that machine, although it seems to work pretty good. But his spout's pretty short. And he's, um... He's full two over there, so... We'll rescue him after. And the other guy's full. <laughs> Lots of combines are awesome, but it's fun trying to keep up to them. There's been lots of real farming uh, harvesting going on around me right now, mostly uh, corn and soybean, which we're doing actually here. To me, it seems like they leave it in the field an awful long time, but uh, it, uh, I don't know, it must have something to do with uh, like field drying it kind of thing. They uh, stand dry, I guess they call it, or something in the field, especially corn. Uh, basically, um, it somehow seems to know, I think, when... Uh, when... The, sorry, the days get shorter. It seems to know, because... I've noticed that for quite a while now, that when the days get shorter, the corn starts to dry up a bit and then uh, basically go crispy. And we haven't even really had like a cold frost yet that would actually damage the plant, so it's, it's kind of weird how it knows, but it somehow knows. Alright, filling up the corn. Okay, so we can actually probably leave this guy filling for a moment. We can go get our one more pig. Because, <laughs> yes, we do have nine there right now. I wanted a nice even ten. And uh, we'll keep them fed and stuff. And then uh, see a couple of weeks or so how many we get. Of course, you'd get a lot more if you were speeding up time more, but then you'd also have to feed them a lot more. Care to look after them a lot more, so... We'll just kind of go as it goes and see where it goes, so... Uh, we're not going to have a whole lot more videos, I don't believe, in... Uh, really, in this game, because uh, FS19 is coming out pretty soon. It'll be, I guess, three weeks-ish by the time you guys see this video. So, uh... One sheep, or sheep, one pig. Pig butt. <laughs> Alright, so, there we go. Uh, but we might, uh, you know, frequent this game again. Uh, just just back to check on the pigs and stuff, or maybe we'll start them up in the new game. Uh, I'm not really too sure. I have no real idea what's going to happen in the new game yet. Um, I don't uh, generally get saying too much about it or uh, really looking at any trailers of it until it actually comes out and I actually play it, because uh, not very often you get to see a trailer where it's actual gameplay with a game. It's usually some kind of cutscene stuff, which... Uh, I must admit, I have seen a couple of trailers of it, some that were just posted to my Facebook page. Um, but uh, all there, all they were showing was uh, here. 
all they were showing was um, basic basic cutscenes of it. It's like, well, that's probably not what the game's going to be looking like. So now we've got this stuff. It's the pig feed here, and I don't know really how to use it yet. Pig food, grade A. So, um, let's just go in here. I just don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. Am I supposed to do anything around here? I guess it looks like uh, on a skid. Um, maybe I should try to bring over the uh, fork, forklift attachment on that tractor and see if I can pick it up. Maybe, I don't know, maybe we have to put it in by their feed area or something. I don't know. I've never really figured that out quite yet, but um, it's not really a forklift tractor, but it's close enough to, <laughs> to the pig place here that we uh, might be able to make it. I know the forklift attachment, uh, the forks for the forklift for the skids will actually uh, lift uh, bales too. Well, those guys are getting full again almost, so we'll uh, see uh, what we got to do here with this thing. Sort of got a hold of it. Yeah, I'm just not too sure what I gotta do with this. If I just put it here or Okay, so that disappeared. <laughs> um I see it gave them a bit of that. Okay. So technically technically we don't really need that pig food stuff. We can use corn. Because we do need corn. So we got definitely some full loads here. So is that guy again, which is good. And while we're looking here, let's check prices on the things. Uh, so everything's not looking too good right now. <laughs> corn is up a bit, but I'm going to keep this corn, I think. So everything I think we're just going to put right into our bins today. Stalker. Alright, we're going to try, and I'm pretty darn sure it's not going to work. Let's see if I can get right in tight to this guy and just kind of knife edge it right into him. Let's see if this will work. I bet you it's not going to probably work. Oh, so close. Oh, are you kidding me? I don't get them. There, that sort of works. Kind of hard on the trailer tongues and stuff, but kind of sort of works. This guy is definitely going to be a minute unloading this. Get into his bin here. It looks like cereal corn pop things or something. But anyways. Uh, yeah, so I just really, you know, haven't watched a whole lot of footage or anything from the new farm sim. So I know John Deere's in it, um, I guess along with some other name brand stuff, which is good. It's about time. How many versions have we had? And it's actually a well, case, I guess, a lot of other 
name brand stuff in it, but, uh, you know, some of the major, major ones like John Deere's, where, where, where were you guys hiding all this time, right? So, it's all licensing stuff, though, right? It costs piles of money for licensing and, uh, you know, stuff like that, so. All right, so we were that close to the pig pen. We should have just run down, and, uh, but that's okay. You know what? We're not going to need a lot of... A lot of corn, I bet, for them anyway, so we'll just uh, unload both of these, I guess, and then take whatever's in the machine. Oh, gotta get the right guy here. Holy Jesus, lifting up my whole trailer. We need to change that. Um, Green door. Yeah, this is going to take forever. <laughs> uh, let's change that to back. There we go. Now it won't take so long. Alright, I guess uh, Buddy's done down there, so that worked out pretty good. Get his spout open here. out of this guy pretty quick, so I'll just wait a moment. Pretty quick. Alright, we will just leave this guy off to the side here momentarily. Oh, that guy's full. Okay. Too many vehicles. I need to downsize. Okay, so that's our pig food. Well, that's interesting. I didn't actually really look to see um, how much that pig pellets were. 1400 bucks, And it only got us um, like that much. Wow. That almost doesn't go very far. Alright, we should be able to zoom into this guy here pretty good. And, uh, yeah, it comes a little better that way. Alright. And I don't know how full the other guy is there. He's probably all right for now, but um, we'll soon have to uh, change paths for these guys because they're going to be button heads here in no time. Let's go down and put some corn in the, in their pen here. There we go. Oh, there we go. That's enough. So let's have a look. See here. 
We have happy pigs, 100%. Nice. Uh, so basically all the pigs, are, I guess, are good for is um, making new pigs and we sell the pigs off. So hopefully we get a little bit of something for them, you know. And uh, we should turn there. I love this tractor. It turns it so sharp. So the rest of this we'll uh, go and put back in our pen. In our silo. And I'm going to stop this guy right here. Almost full anyways. So we shall stop him and uh, park him way down here to the way. Should be the best spot for him, I suppose. This is okay. I guess I could pop the. Uh, that'll make her a bit easier for us. Okay. This guy's still sit up here enjoying the view. That guy's finishing up. He's got lots of room left. Um, that guy continue on for a minute. He'll end up the other end of the field, I guess, by the looks of that. Uh, what else are we going to do today? Uh, boy, we've got our pigs. Uh, hmm. Let's just look at our stock of... Hello. Our, uh, we should do some more of these, maybe. Uh, just grass bailed and wrapped, but uh, they're okay for now. We still have some round bales, and then we got all this straw here. So we should be good for straw for a while, I would think. And then we got some hay. Could probably do a little more hay, but we're really not that bad right now. We've got uh, quite a few, three rows here right now. We're not going to need any more for a while. Uh, could do some, I guess, just and sell it. Um, I've got quite a bit of silage left in here. Yeah. Where the heck did my... Where the heck did that thing go? <laughs> um, how am I going to... I wanted to kind of eliminate this thing because I kind of found it better just to use the one guy over here. I put a bunch of grass in there a wee while ago and it's um, quite a bit in there now so I don't really need this other guy but it's really full of silage right now. I don't know where I can't just dump it in the in the other thing I guess. So we'll just have to use it I guess but uh, that's alright. Alright. We shall go check on the other guy and see how he's doing. But uh, yeah, we might. Uh, that might be it for crops today. We might go and do some. Uh, boy, I don't know. Maybe some square bales um, haying, which means I can do many, many cuts over there and uh, get square bale it, and then maybe just sell it, get some money that way. Bailing's always kind of fun. Oh, come on, you're so close. <laughs> Stupid thing. Oh, come on, you're so close there, bud. Yeah, fill me up. How much does he have in him there? There's probably not that much. No, not really. Alright. Well... everything's good with the pigs right now. We'll take all this and store it. I don't know where he thinks he's going. He is done. Huh. Maybe get somebody out here uh, doing some grooming work. 
for a plow out there. Maybe it's a little plow out or something. Give him some work for a while. And the last bit of corn. All right. That's good. We'll leave, I guess, these guys parked right now. He's coming up there. He doesn't have anything that I can see. He has gathered a little bit there, though. That's interesting. I just I don't see it. That's interesting. Okay. Park that tractor there. We'll just move him over a bit. Well, that's that, I guess. Not sure what this big silo is for. I don't think it's any, anything except decoration. All right, we'll just park this guy about here. We don't really have a lot of big areas for parking things right here, so we kind of just plunk them everywhere. Um, now do I want this tractor for haying? I think we'll put this guy on the plow maybe here. All right, let's go grab the little plow. Little plow does a little better job. In, uh, in the big fields. The big plow's all right, but it doesn't, uh, at least big end bits, you know, where I gotta kinda go over it all again anyway, so. Uh, we'll throw the little guy in here and give him, give the field a good plowing. I just don't think it's any point in getting anything any bigger, because we've got a smaller guy and then one bigger guy, um, plows. So we got, uh, I think it's that one. That would be a little bigger, but I don't really see any point going going much bigger, uh, three meters to two meters, it's a meter wider. Yeah, let's, let's just keep going with what we got here. Looks all shiny and clean and new. I didn't even wash it. Auto wash. All right, uh, let's uh, let's mess things around here a little bit. Then we'll go this way back and forth. Well, let's mess with them a bit here and see what happens if we. Uh... Start them doing it this way. All right, uh, so there's our square baler. We'll uh, find our tractor that take over and take the square baler over to the grass and we already got our everything we need over there wind roller everything's already over there and there's already a partial bale loaded there but I think what will happen is it'll uh, Automatically turn it to grass or hay, whatever we're doing, which is kind of a glitchy kind of thing. Wonder if they fixed that at all in 19. Oh, go goodbye, sign. Didn't want you there. Uh, so we're gonna have to bring over. Are we gonna have to bring over the bale trailer too? Yes, we are. It's way over by our stacks. All right. So I haven't got anything cut yet, but what I'll probably do is we'll do one cut ourselves with, you know, I'll do it with you guys here, and then uh, I'll, uh, off recording I'll do like another three cuts or something, three, four cuts, whatever, so we get uh, quite a bit flopping out of the baler here. 
So we'll just leave this all right here, ready to go, and uh, I love this machine. I hope it's in the new game too. Does such a nice job. climb a hill too well with it though here, so I've got to stay down where it's a little flatter, but uh, I guess once you're on that, you could cut it, but it doesn't climb it too well, so. so we'll do a bit of hay on, I guess, maybe for today. Uh, other than that, uh, I think everything's kind of in the looms right now with, you know, we've got the pigs going, we need, uh, we've got them all fed, everything's fed. I think the sheep actually need a little bit of water. Do one loop in and around here. We can rake all that around after. Oh, darn, I should have brought the tree cut guy over here and uh, took all these guys out. Oh, there's probably, well, yeah, there's probably uh, a fair bit of money sitting over here in trees. dead one. I never even sort of thought of this area, but it's too late now, I guess. I'm not going to rent it now, so. We got cleared up what we wanted to, and it uh, should be all pretty good. I think we could actually drag a, something behind this to a baler anyways. Uh, looks like a hitch there, but and a PTO to drive it, but uh, if we're making hay, we kind of need it to be uh, dried out and stuff, right? So, which makes sense. It's got to be dry. dead anyways. Oh well, not a big deal. Well, it looks like our plow guy is blocked by something already. <laughs> what would he be blocked by over there? Fence maybe? Has he got that far? Well, let's take a break for that guy for a moment and uh, we'll go see. Now, why are you way over here, bud? Oh, I guess that would make sense. Okay, he's probably going to get stuck on the building there in that uh, header as well, but we'll fix him when we get to that. Alright, a little more cutting here, and uh, we're looking pretty good.
locked again already. I didn't take long. We'll finish our cut here and then we'll fix it. And then uh, we'll take a little break and I'll do some more cutting. Get us quite a whack here to cut and then uh, the last cut I'll try to leave it like this so we can actually still see what we're doing. A little bit of grass over here too we might as well. Might as well buzz up too, we can get through the bush here and the tree's not really bush, but get up through here even though it's kinda got a bug, yeah, a little issue there, but that's okay. Save that for the sheep, maybe. <laughs> All right. Let's reset ourselves over here. Probably uh, get long grass again. All right. What's he stuck on? Not stuck on anything. He must have figured himself out. Good for you, Fred. Should fit under here with the doors all down. Pretty good. That guy can stay up there for a little longer. Um, I got some key there. Um, don't really need this guy over there. I guess we sort of do. He's got the forklifts on it for the skids for the sheep, but we'll just run over here and grab our, our uh, bale trailer and bring it over with this guy. And this guy can stay over there then. Well, that's going to work out good. It's going to do the whole length now. I bet you he'll get stuck on that fence, so... The fence we put in down there probably will get stuck on it, so... Might have to run him up and down the other way a couple of times. Like he's doing uh, hedgerows and stuff. Alright. Grab our bale trailer. Yeah, we don't really need... don't really need any, any hay over here. We're good for, I think, quite a while. All right. Is this all, we're all going to pull this over? I don't know. It's going to be a drag. Coming too. a while to get her spooled up, but once she's going, she's a puller. Good there, Fred. Oh, no, he won't hit the fence, because we've got that little pit plowed. I totally forgot about that. So that'll work out good. Probably would hit the fence, though, if we didn't have that pretty plowed like that. I guess. Um, so you come over that too bad. And I could have done, totally done, like some kind of arch bridge there, because you can maneuver those uh, all that direction too, and have it high in the middle, and then. Up, up, down, down, but it probably wouldn't take the trailers. This trailer definitely bottom out over it. So you really wouldn't be able to do that. So the wheels are so far back on this. It uh, gives a long area on the front where she definitely be hit. All right, we are here. We'll run, uh, we'll leave this guy parked up the hill and uh, just take the tractor over because I know the sheep uh, apparently need a little water. So we'll just park this trailer here. Good to go. There's our little round baler. We probably, probably could. 
could get away selling that, because I don't think I'm going to do any more Shroud Silage Wrap Bales. Hello, sheep. I'll give you some water, except I'm totally on the wrong side, I believe. Yes, I am. There, that'll get you hydrated. You just walked right under there. You'll be all greasy now. Silly sheep. Alright, well, we'll take a little break. I'll let the field uh, let that field uh, regrow here, and uh, yeah, should be good. This uh, this cutter here, it will not pull behind that tractor. It just wrecks that tractor totally. It's just too heavy for it, I guess. So uh, let's just double check. We got uh, yeah, we got our. Our tether and our wind roller should be all good. Uh, but let me do uh, maybe three odd more cuts here with the long grass, and then uh, the last one uh, after the fourth cut will uh, start working here. So, um, but uh, oh, we did hit the fence. Okay, so I'm going to fix this corner up a bit too. Forgot about that. down a couple more that way. Hopefully we're not just too close to this fence here. Yeah, that should do. We're not perfect along there, but uh, that makes it look a little more rustic you're not perfect with it, right? So. Alright, just run him down this way just because I think he is going to hit. Probably be alright with the loader off this tractor. But, um, that will definitely, if I go down and come back, it will definitely give him enough room. Wow, that's a lot of wage payment just for helping me. Every hour, I guess you pay that. So. They do so much nicer of a job <laughs> with keeping things straight. I kind of hope that in the new farm sim that there's some kind of... Uh, what would you call it? Like a GPS guidance system. Where are you going there, buddy? You know, like a GPS guidance system where it'll, you know, you'll set your GPS and it'll just take you straight down the field. The tractor's out of that. I don't know why it's not really implemented in the game other than Harold guy driving here, so. That would be kind of neat. And it would get you nice bang on rows just like this, right? Absolutely perfect straight rows. That's nice. Okay, Fred, Charlie, whatever your name is today, we're going to get you going this way again. And we'll have to see if he has problems down here. <coughs> um, he 
potentially might I'm gonna maybe just move this header that's the header for the big machine it should fit on this but it'll be a good heavy lift for them oh <laughs> make sure a little light on the on the rear end that's for sure Holy cow, this thing's a monster <laughs> on this little machine. Now, where am I going to plunk him? It's right in here with this one. Look at the difference in the size. Isn't that crazy? Oh, look at the... <laughs> Let's get another shot of that. Oh, the front tires squash down. Can't really get any closer. <laughs> I wonder if it would actually run that. Probably not tremendously well, I wouldn't think. Okay, there we go. So we'll take a little break. We'll let this guy continue to work here. I think he's going to be all right. And I'll get the time juicing right now. We'll get cutting some more grass off cam here. And uh, we'll get uh, some hand going today. And we'll sell those bales up. So give me a few. You guys a split. And uh, split second. And uh, we'll be right back. All right. I think we're good. That's a lot of grass laying out there. Uh, there's about seven cuts roughly out there so that's going to be a uh, literally a heap of work <laughs> so let's get the tether going here hopefully we can scale this stuff that's why I bought the big the big feller oops the big tractor that's why I brought him over so look at the size of these mounds oh crap so we'll get Header going here. Try her up. This thing barely gets through here. And we might even have to come through this twice. It's missing some of it there in the middle. Okay, that was maybe too much. Seven cuts is too much, maybe. Nikes, look at that, it's not even getting it all. Well, that's not so good, is it? Uh, hopefully, I can come through with the second cut or the second ted tedding here and get the rest of it. It's actually missing the whole lot right now. Oh, that's not good at all. Just want to do a whole bunch of cuts just to see kind of what happened. Did that pretty good on the hill? Look at how fluffy it is! Holy crap! We're never going to be able to bail that. Oh my goodness! What the crap? <laughs> Maybe it just built it all up there and behind, and you know that little build-up glitch there. Oh, that's funny. Wow, we got some some hay on the hill. Looks like it's okay with that second run through. I think, anyway, it looks better. Holy cow. Uh huh. And same thing here. We're just gonna have to run through it twice, I guess. No, oh, that's all right. We can do that.
boy. <laughs> um, okay. That, oh my goodness, how the heck are we ever going to bail that? That is hilarious. Oh my goodness, I think I potentially might have cut too much. Do we think so? Maybe the tractor's buried in hay. Still going through it though, surprisingly. Alright, let's go to the next row here. Oh my goodness. Go back over this row maybe. Second run it looks like it uh, gets it all fixed up, but holy cow! I don't know how the heck I'm going to do this. I almost need that. <coughs> pardon me, that baler that uh, has the uh, windrower thingy built onto it. And we got that in our mod directory there. We almost need that thing, but. Um, Boy, oh boy. Okay, I think this one is actually good, so we'll go up the next one here. We'll have to do it probably twice, I would imagine, too. Yeah, it looks like we're missing some in the middle there. Holy, <laughs> did that ever fluff that up? That's amazing. Now, how many bales do you guys think we're going to get out of this? Holy. Okay, so we should look here. Um, uh, where was that? I've seen that now. Uh, created bales. This session is zero. So we know how many bales we've created this session. We'll look at that after. Holy cow, this is going to be insane. I'm thinking 75 bales. If I can get it all stuffed through the machine, that is. <clears throat> That's going to be awesome. Remember now what a bale's worth to sell. Whoa, my goodness. <laughs> I think it's literally like storing it up. And I come to the end here just bleh. Holy cow, I don't even know if I'll be able to run the wind roar through that. This may be alright here to wind roll, but those mountains down there, I don't know. Alright, I think all that's good. Let's see what happens at this end here. See if we get a big mound. Monster mound of hay. Very nice rows to start with, though, I must say. Very neat. But uh, mower does a real nice job. Alright, here we go gonna get buried. There she goes. <laughs> Holy cow. That is crazy. <laughs> There's probably 40 bales sitting right there, if not more. <laughs> we'll just let them 
I don't know how that's going to work for Balin, but we'll just let it barf out, I guess. Oh, should show you something else, too. Uh, so we got our pigs today, right? You all know that, of course. We've, uh, I'll fast forward time a little bit here to uh, let the grass grow seven. So, um, time has passed, we'll say. Quite a few days in, in game time, I guess we'll say. Um. <laughs> Okay, I gotta stop and show you this. Um, so we started with 10 pigs. We've got 19 now. So we gained 9 pigs. Pretty much almost a pig a day. When you when you do it that way. So that's kind of cool. We can take cell. And cows are up to, well, 15 sheep. I think we started with, um, if I believe it was 10 with them as well. And I know I started with 10 cows to start with. We're 37 now. So, so that's kind of neat. down this row, and then we'll finish these other ones, and then we'll try to run the wind, ro wind rower over this, but I don't know if that's going to work too well. Try to get him in somewhat of a row again. We might need a bigger wind rower now, maybe. I don't know. Almost seems like it. Insane. That uh, one baler I was mentioning there, though, it would gobble that stuff up. Just start firing bales out the back. Pretty funny, actually. But we'll try to do it with that one. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge if I can't really get them rounded back up into nice windrows again, but uh, we'll try our best. Probably should get ourselves a bigger tether. There's only one size bigger, if I remember right. Um, where did they go? Tethers. Two bigger, I guess. This is the one we got now. So that's uh, six meters, twelve and a half, and thirteen. But uh, this field's not that big, so we don't have to really worry too much about it. Wind rowers, however, though. Wind rower would be nice if it had a bigger one. That's the one we got there. Eh. 14.8 meters to uh, 9.3. That'd <coughs> be a little difference there, I guess. All right, 
couple more passes here. And I think we'll be golden. Yeah, that's pretty good, I guess. <clears throat> All right. All right, let's hook this wind roar on. See if there's anything we can do with us to get it back to a row. Oh, I'm messing up here. Let's straighten out and try again. <clears throat> All right, my goodness. Oh, what a mess. Oh, wow, what a mess. Well, let's see what we can do here. Oh my goodness. That is not going to fit through that baler. <clears throat> we might have to switch to that other, that other baler. Hmm. Yeah, just putting it into a row, but that's a pretty huge row. I don't know what I'm going to do at this top corner here. That's just insane. That's uh, probably not going to... Uh... Boy, oh boy. don't think this is going to go through the wind over here too nice. It's not really doing anything to it except making more of a mess. A huge windrow. <laughs> oh man, what are we going to do up there? There's a lot of bales sitting up there. I just don't know what to do with it. Look at it down there, too. Holy cow. <clears throat> wow. Should I even bother going through? I guess we'll see what happens here. <laughs> that is just not right. We are going to be just completely bang, 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 barfing out bales like crazy, I think we can even get into there with it. Ah, uh, they look a little neater, a little straighter anyways. So maybe two or three cuts maximum might have been good, I'm thinking. Um, probably seven or seven or so, whatever I did there was maybe a little much. Maybe, maybe a little much.
All right, let's uh continue this little bit here, I guess. So I think we'll try to get all this bailed today, but I don't think we're going to get it all pulled in and sold today, but we can do that uh, next week, perhaps. Goodness. Okay, I think that's good enough. All right. <clears throat> boy, oh boy, this is going to be fun. All right. Let's hook on this baler. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, man, this is not going to be too good, I don't think. Okay, so we started at zero bales today for this session. And here we go. Imagine we're probably gonna have to bail this twice. If you know what I mean? Like uh, go around once and then windrow it back up again. I might even just go buy that other baler and just do it with that. It's got the windrower built right into it, eh? So look at them just pouring out the back here. I'll we'll have to go around and pick them up. <laughs> it didn't even hardly pick any of it up. So we've probably done about 40 bales already here. Let's just look here for fun. Uh, where did it go here? Created bales 16 already. Well. Oh no. Oh no! Come on, you tractor, you pull that thing out of there. We're only buried up to the cab. We can do it. Just need to be persistent. There we go. That's crazy. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to go around again. I think the other bale or er makes a bigger bale as well. So they would uh, not do so many. These are 4,000. I think the other one's 9,000. But I like this size of bale because <clears throat> it works good on our feeder if we happen to, to use it in our mixing wagon. Two of these bales and then one straw and the rest uh, silage.
Oh boy. <laughs> Maybe I'll try not to hit her in so deep there. Insane feed rate, I must say. Come on, baby. All four are spinning for ya. There we go. It's persistence, right? Persistence. Oh my goodness, this is just insane. Hey, it's fun though. Try to get these big piles down a little more, though, because I'll never be able to get a trailer in here for sure. So what do you think we're up to now? 50? Let's have a look. 76! So I was way off on my 75, because we haven't even hardly touched the field here yet. Okay, now I'm thinking 300. 300 bales. And then the stuff we've missed here, <coughs> there's probably another 20 bales, 30 bales just in that. Got them all. <laughs> We still haven't even touched those rows yet. Got lots to do yet. Holy. I think I'd rather ran out of strap string by now. Apparently I'd go forever with, with it though. Coming through. Look out, bales, we're coming through. Well, we've eaten up a lot of it. I don't think I can get through over there anymore, though, until we get those picked up, but. My goodness. So we might have to use... Well, I don't even know if I'll get through town with that, though. I was going to say we might have to use that Lego trailer. We can just start stacking them like crazy, but... I better just use our yellow one there, just so we can't get as many on there, but... Uh, oh, 
Holy cow. I was going to sell all these, but you know what? I might just even take them and stack them over at our place there. I don't know. We'll see. be interested to see how many... How much money we get for all these once the whole field is cleaned right up. Get rid of these and then... We'll stack them up, I guess, somewhere... Somewhere over there. Alright, we still got lots of hay on the ground that we need to run the windrower over again. Should just get the bigger windrower maybe. Uh, one's a bit small. here so it makes it a little bit easier for the trailer. Still one big huge arc wall here of it. two. Alright, that is that is insane. So I might just stack these up here for now. Um, wow. Alright, can't remember how to use this now. Square bales. Work position. Uh, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Full already. Oh, the trailer drives right through those bales. That's interesting. Oh, tree! Of course, I find the tree. Okay, we gotta somehow weave ourselves through here, and uh, we're gonna stack these for now. Need somewhere to stack, maybe just behind the building over here for now or something. center we want to
load is why. All right, so there's one load. We'll see how many trailer loads we get here. It's gonna be uh, one pile of a lot, I think. Oh my goodness. There's the next one. Oh, crap. Ooh, you almost got me stuck. All right, there's load two. can't remember which is which or position probably don't have to look I haven't used this thing enough I guess There's the next load. Ooh, can't turn that sharp. Man, we've just done its top corner here, too. That's crazy. Oh, that didn't kind of work the way I wanted it to. Um, boy, oh boy, I messed that up. Okay, now we won't hit the work until we get away again. Okay. Work position. There we go. Alright. 
Alright, so that was the third load. Tractor comes around really fast. Fourth load. Mama. <laughs> okay, so B B Well, I didn't get that one very straight, but oh well, it's all right. Okay, I don't know if we have quite enough. Well, maybe we do have enough for another full load here. We shall see. for a full load. Two left, but we still got lots to rake up here yet. Okay, let's grab the wind roar again here. And uh, see if we can straighten the rest of this up. Oh, darn it. I parked out the other way. So at the bigger wind roar, we could have raked this a little bit better into uh, kind of a bigger row. 
combined them all. But, uh, this will help anyways. Sure, a large heap of stuff up here. Holy cow! That was uh, that was amazing. So there might be, I don't know, 20 more bales sitting out here maybe? Hard to say really. We'll uh, get that baler going on this after we get this a little bit straightened up here. Make it a little easier for us baling. A little less running about. That's got most of it. We'll just do maybe one more little straightening up here. Alright, that should be good. We can get most of that anyways. Whoa, where am I going? Hit her again here. Be quite as fast now coming out, I would think.
Jeffer there. gonna miss the odd little bit here and there but that's all right I think we got enough bales today still missing a lot for some weird reason. I'm trying to keep it going right down the center of our tractor, but a lot of tight turns and stuff. We, if we had the bigger wind roller, we could whip right through there and rake all those into one row instead of having all these little wee ones. That would probably make sense, but I don't know if we're going to be doing much more hay now. Probably not now. We've got enough hay, I think, to last till, till the cows come home. <laughs> really? This guy over here. Well, that's got a good chunk of it. We'll get some more of this over here, I guess. And a couple of thicker rows here, we'll get them. But some of this little piddly stuff, I'm not even going to, I don't think, worry about. Those big rows there are what we'll, what we'll call the bread and butter. We can get enough just to kick that one bale out, and then we'll unload, I guess. So there we go. Well, maybe the next one. Let's see if we can get the next one kicked out. There's a little bit down here, I guess. Probably good enough here. This little bit here is not going to really uh, amount too too much for me. Yeah, good enough. What is on the 
die. Alright, well that is it for our bailing I guess today. Um, we'll head out and uh, pick up the rest of these bales. definitely not be able to do that. Okay, let's see here. Work position X. Uh, I don't think we're going to get them all on this load, so we'll have probably another partial trailer after this one. That is it. One, two, three, four, five, six full loads so far. We've got maybe another two row out here yet. Uh, I don't even think we've got that much. Let's go see here. There's one. Two. Five, six, seven, one, one, one level. Let's go sell these ones. What the heck? So there we go. We did pretty good. How many bales do you think we did? Boy, I don't know. We'll look at. We'll look in a second here before we sell these. tight doing this turn here on this bridge here, but we should be able to make her. Nice. Must have been not all the good construction there, I guess. Alright, how many did we end up doing? 152 bales. Wow, that's pretty good. Now, how are these going to sell off of this, I wonder? Now, isn't that funny? 1,152. We did 152 bales. That is weird. Well, we made pretty good money there um, from just one level. Uh, let's see, where's that screen? Um, today, sold bales $9,200. That's not too bad. Anyways, I guess we'll run this guy back and uh, probably call her a day. I don't really... Oh, no, no, I'm mistaken there. I am mistaken there. I have one other thing I want to do today to add a little bit, hopefully, to our income of money. And um, that is to add... Well, I'll show you in a moment. Let's just get this back over here probably take all these over next week to sell them. 
So I don't really think I need any at the farm now. We're pretty stocked up right now for them. Okay, so what I wanted to get into as well, because I normally don't do it, is um, in the placeables here, we have the greenhouses that will give you 90 an hour. The bees are only 25 an hour. I wouldn't mind trying maybe one of each of these. And I know we have to bring them manure and water. So, let's grab greenhouse. We will put this over at our other farm though. Do -do 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 -do. Should allow me to put it in here somewhere. So there's not manure there anymore so we can probably now, which way is it supposed to go, though? Hmm. Maybe we'll just kind of put them here so we can get right around. And we'll do a greenhouse for lettuce. Oh, man, I gotta start way over here again. Because I know we got lots of manure. Oh, there, that's faster. Too fast. Got lots of manure, so yeah. Okay. So we'll head her on back with we'll take this tractor back because we're gonna need it over there. And I do have a water trailer. Still, I didn't sell it. Probably should have sold it because we haven't used it since like you know the second video. of this map. Old family farm map. It's a good little map. A couple of customizations we've done to it in our editor and stuff, which worked pretty good. One there, for instance. Nice little bridge instead of trucking through the water. Because that doesn't make much sense. So did Buddy get it all finished? Yeah, it looks like he's all done. He's way up there in the corner. Well, that's good. Let's see if we get this trailer out of here now. It's kind of blocked in. All right, can I fill it up out of here? wants to empty out of there. It's 50% filled still. Well, it's probably all rusty now, though. <laughs> I'm going to try to back it into the our old pond over here. Let's see if we can fill it up from the old pond. Apparently, it doesn't want to fill up out of the old pond. Honestly, I really don't want to pay for pay for the water, but uh, let's see what we can do here. Load them up. Already got some plants started. That's nice. That's good. We should get a little bit into this guy too. Whoops. Oops. Turn, you turd. Oh, look, we already got plants started there, too. Lettuce. Nice. Now, we're going to need our... Uh, I guess I'll just leave this guy parked here. We are going to need our other tractor that's way over in the other corner of the field right now to... Uh, Get some of that manure. So let's bring him back over. Looks like he did good. I was starting him the one way, and then he was hitting that fence, believe it or not, with as many 
things over there is we had, um, you know, it just wasn't working. So we got them going this way. Ooh, we need fuel in this tractor real bad, too. He might have actually sat over there running for a while. He plowed this whole entire field, too, so Macy's not uh, ran out of fuel. I'll just put him in until he gets out of the red. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, so... Unhook that, grab the bucket. Just take some, a couple of few bucket loads of uh, poop over. Oh, what am I stuck on? Take a couple of bucket loads here. I should be able to take this and just dump it right in there bins here for them. Alright. 90 bucks an hour is not that much money, but if you fill this with, you know, greenhouses, that would be a lot of work trying to keep up on all the manure, but technically could make some pretty good money. Well, this would be 180 bucks an hour for the two of them, so that's not too bad. Is that enough there, bud? You got enough poop? Should do. Whoops, I scratched the paint. All right, well. That should do. So it'll make us a little bit of money. But anyways, I guess that's about it for today. Thanks again for watching. We'll for sure catch you all next week. Uh, I don't know what we're going to be doing next week. I haven't really made a plan that far ahead yet. But uh, we'll think of something, I'm sure. And there we go. I guess I'll we'll have to plant another crop, uh, take those bales over, sell them up maybe. Yeah. But anyways, thanks again for watching. Catch us all next week. You guys have a good week. And uh, thanks again for watching. And I don't know whether we'll do a, a midweek special next week. I just uh, wanted to get those trees kind of busted out of there. And I uh, didn't really want to do it all in one video. So, uh, But anyways, thanks again. Catch us all later. And you guys have yourselves a good week.